verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Psalm 105 and verse 2. And it says this, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Going back to the story that of the disciples, they'd seen Jesus go into heaven um, and he told them to stay where they were uh, in Jerusalem. They may well have gone back to that upper room and they may well have been singing praises to God, singing praises to his name and telling of all the wonderful acts of that Jesus had performed in the time that they had been with Jesus and you just imagine this hubbub of noise and stuff of course we are approaching the time when we will celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit um, but imagine that group of men that had just seen Jesus going up into heaven and thinking and they marvel at that and they'd be talking about that Maybe the two people that Jesus had met on the road to Emmaus may all have been there. And they tell about that. And maybe Mary was there. And those that went to the tomb on that first Easter Sunday were there. And they were singing and talking about Jesus. And about what he had done. But look at what we have today. We have both Old and New Testaments of our Bibles. And we can sing praises about the things that God had done in the Old Testament. Through David, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you know, Gideon, Moses, Noah, any one of them. Pick, pick an Old Testament character. And we can sing praises about what God had done in their lives and what God had done with those people too. And we can tell of his wonderful acts and what Jesus has done for us in our lives and say what he's done for us. So today, maybe find an opportunity, perhaps not sing, maybe, um, but in your place of work, wherever you're at about today, just to maybe drop a hint in of something that wonderful that God has done for you.